Let's look at the second shrub in our group of four. If we walk just a short way down the trail, we'll see some examples of the spiny redberry. Similar to the ceanothus, it also likes the chaparral habitat, although it does well in coastal sage scrub. It's relatively rare in California, although we see quite a bit of it here in the reserve. It also is a perennial shrub, and although it can grow up to six feet, is generally pretty small, smaller than most ceanothus. Spiny redberry has a branching structure that's fairly distinctive. Here we are with docents Margaret Phileas and Jeannie Smith. Let's hear how they describe it. Right. And what makes Mar it distinctive? Look at the, the, the spiny bits. Yeah. Especially in, in the, the dead area there. You can really see how it does the spines. Mm -hmm. and spiny redberry bush. Twigs may have thorns at or near the ends. In good growing conditions, spiny redberry can be a very dense shrub. The spiny redberry flowers between February and June, depending on the conditions. Um, the flowers look somewhat small and greenish and are composed of what look like four tiny green petals, although they're not actually petals but sepals. When pollinated, these then create the small attractive red berries that give the plant its common name. Notice that the leaves are somewhat similar to those of the wortstem ceanothus. Um, in general, they can look quite similar, um, if, especially if you're looking at a young ceanothus. The leaves are oval, elliptical, and like the ceanothus, may be broader at the tip or the apex than at the base. Also, <clears throat> like the ceanothus, the leaves are margin entire or margin toothed. That was a test to see if remember that margin entire means smooth edged and margin tooth means, well, that the edge may have teeth. But there are differences. The leaves are in general smaller than ceanothus. They are more likely to have teeth at the edge. And the leaves also frequently have a fold in the middle and then fold up. Also, if you look at the whole plant, they really do look different. The spiny redberry is usually more compact, more dense, and it has a distinctive spiky shape to the branches. And if you're lucky and you catch one with the red berries in place, well, that's a dead giveaway. Okay, now let's move on to our native oak.